tell us a little bit about where this started? You said this has taken years to, to, to get to this point where the show is actually coming to Detroit. What was the genesis of Motown the Musical? Well, Mr. Gordy had always wanted to tell his story, his version of how this happened, because many people have written books. There are all these different versions, and I always say it depends upon what part of the house you were in, when, what's your version of that. And for Mr. Gordy, he thought, I want to do it, and I want to do it on stage, because that is the greatest medium to experience, so that people can sing and dance in the aisles. And so he started, he had different attempts at it, and then we met, and we started working on what this could be. I mean, the original version of this was six hours long. I mean, it had song after song, and none of them we wanted to cut. Yeah. So it was very, it was that process of how do we tell this story? He always says the truth is a hit. Mm -hmm. How do we tell that? How do we relate that to everyone who wants to know how did it happen? Yeah. And it's his perspective of what that was. So get ready. I mean, here's this man who is an icon of, of music and trying to bring that role to life. I mean, what was that like for you? Well, there was definitely a lot of pressure. Just a little um, bit. Just, just a lot of it. <laughs> um, and I just wanted to do him justice. Mm -hmm. um, I love Marvin Gaye. You know, I wasn't able to meet him ever, but uh, I've listened to his music my entire life. Um, always been an idol of mine. So to be able to bring him to the stage in Detroit, yeah. it's, it's indescribable. Don't miss American Black Journal, Sundays at 12.30 p.m.